Hello everyone. Uh, today I thought I'd get back to doing models. Sorry, I've been off doing some uh, airplane videos over at Lunkin Airport and having a good time with those, but uh, last video I'd put out um, uh, it's been a while since I've done one back into modeling. Uh, before in part one I had talked about printing this uh, Liberty ship model, 3D printing um, filament, uh, you know, the line type, not the resin smooth type. This uh, was one I found uh, on the internet. I explained about it in the first video, part one. But uh, as you can see, I've got it glued together. Each section, there's 13 sections, each section has a corresponding set of round holes for dowels. Uh, most sections, the front and rear have three, the rest of them have uh, four, uh, and there's 13 sections. So I printed the model down a bit to uh, 1 200 scale. Uh, the model comes in a 1 1 60th scale or end scale, 33 inches long. This is about 27, makes it uh, 200. Uh, 1 one ninety second scale and uh, I've put the pins in, sanded each section, smoothed the butt up to each other as best I could uh, not knowing and not having experience in a lot of 3D models I for the glue I used Gorilla's new super glue gel uh, in a bottle with a uh, brush that you could either put it on by nozzle or brush it so on each section that made it together I took a hobby knife or an exacto knife and scored both sides to give it some texture for the glue to run into and uh, give it a little uh, resistance against shock having a little spaces for the for the glue to run into um, it seems to have worked very well it seems to be very strong and of course the four three to four pins in each section uh, really give it some rigidity but as I look at it if you can see in there uh, it's a smooth wall and what I think I'll do is I'll sand uh, a lot of that on either side smooth as I can possibly get and then take some plastic cardstock maybe a sixteenth or an eighth inch thick and at the seams uh, hot melt glue over those seams to give it some more um, strength. Um, hoping that works. I've not done this before, so I know I have a lot of sanding to do on the outer hull. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. And you can see the sections are going to take some, there's like four sections there two gray, two tan. And uh, so I'm going to have to take uh, a 220 or 200 grit sandpaper and sand them down smooth. Um, the halves that fit together on one side will have like a little run out, which is what they call an elephant foot. But I've got these things glued together where when I sand those off everything should be smooth and textured. Uh, as one smooth haul, but the seams will disappear, but as you can see in that one right there, there's some gappage there, and I sanded and sanded and it just didn't work out, so I'll probably take some super glue and fill that, put a little accelerator on it, turn it hard, and sand down the whole outer hull as smooth as I can possibly get it and then maybe coat the or coat the outer hall with maybe some uh, gel coat of some kind or a marine paint that would be waterproof and then paint it with uh, hobby acrylics I like I've still got a ton of old poly uh, navy colors and stuff and uh, see if I can't get a now there's a seam right there between those two gray pieces that 
went together pretty doggone good. And as you can see there under the far top, there's a, a, a round cylinder and inside that is a little metal 1 16th inch spring pin. Uh, I basically printed some multicolor so I could just see visually before painting it what it would look like, what it would be, and how it would go together. So far I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm learning a lot in 3D printing and uh, I've got a lot more to learn. Um, no doubt about it. And so I'm not too upset with how it looks right now at the moment. Um, like I said, this is just where I've gotten the whole hull together, uh, sanding to come, and uh, sealing and strengthening. I would like to make it uh, RC. It's, like I said, 27 inches long. Uh, I could put a little get out in it. It's set up for it on the inside. And uh, the thing that's going to bother me is uh, difference in temperatures. If the water is really cold, the model's hot, what will the shrinkage do? What will it do to all 13 of those seams? It seems to be a lot of questions, a lot of things to test and learn. Uh, the gentleman I saw who printed this out originally did it in 196 scale, which made it a really large model. And um, I watched him do it. Inside the lower part of the hall, there's a bunch of honeycomb patterns that he actually put uh, wood uh, rectangles in to, to uh, use as guides and strengtheners. So. Uh, I'm playing with this one to see. I'm printing out the uh, superstructure, the hatch covers, the booms, the everything else, the guns. Uh, I may go on uh, on uh, the websites. Uh, I think it's Model Monkey or Monkey Model, and then there's another one that sells uh, resin printed uh, naval weapons. Uh, in all different scales. They have them in 200 scales, so I might get some or I just might print the ones that came in the kit uh, or the download for the kit and test it all out uh, to see how it does, to see how it lasts in water um, and before I spend the time. Uh, each one of these sections on this side for some of the larger sections was five to six hours in printing time. For each one of those so you can imagine if I double the size of this thing or at least go to 144 scale uh, I'm probably looking at 9 to 12 hours a piece for some of these sections so before I invest all that time and effort uh, I want to see if I can make a proven example of 200 scale so that's where I am at this for part two um, thank you all very much for watching I uh, hope you've enjoyed it uh, once again uh, Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, if you could take a little uh, time and uh, hit the like button and subscribe, it would really help YouTube know that people are watching these videos. Uh, I really appreciate it once again. Uh, you don't know how much it means for uh, me to uh, get feedback, and, uh, hints and clues and tips to improve on things um, and to talk about particular items that I have on the YouTube page. Um, a lot of interesting conversations I've had and I enjoy those. Uh, once again, thank you very much. You all have a great day. Be safe. Talk to you later. Thanks again. Bye-bye.